Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back with another unboxing video. Hey, what's up everybody? So, we're back with another Universal Yums. I feel like, like I, I say this a lot, but I like I know it's only been a month, but it feels like it's been so much longer. Um, we are going to Greece. Da, 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 da. I think the last time we went to Greece was the last time we went to Greece was um, 2018 January. So it's been a hot minute. Oh my gosh! So this is really cute. So Universal Yums is doing a trick or treat box. And you can order, um, it's 300 candies, and you get six different kinds of candies, each from a different country. And then when people, the kids and whatever, come to trick-or-treat from your house, you can offer them foreign candy. And that's uh, really, really cool. It's $39 plus free shipping. Now, this is not their October box. So if you ordered their October box, you'll get a regular one like we're about to open up here. If you want the special candy box with 300 candies in it, you'll have to go and order that specifically. Okay, and then they also let us know that there was an issue with one of the treats. Mellow Macarona cookies we did not get. And they said they're going to do a fix in the October box. Alright, but let's get started. I've opened up my booklets and I'm ready to go. So our very first snack is Oriental Saragli. It's syrupy... Um, Philo, 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 philo dough pastry with almonds and walnuts. Talk about syrupy. It's even like on the outside of the package. Like I have syrup all over my fingers now. <laughs> it's baklava. That's what it looks like. Kind of looks like a sausage roll. <laughs> Very sweet. I have an eyelash in my eye, but I have syrup all over my hands. <laughs> I'm all situated now. <laughs> okay. Not the best baklava I've ever had. I felt like it was too sugary. Um, I just, I don't know. I've had better, for sure. This next one is called Kristen Naki. So they're mini breadsticks with a basil pesto flavor. Back in the day, people used basil as like a perfume. And honestly, I would be totally down for that. That just sounds like a great thing. I would love to smell like an Italian restaurant. Um, they're not bad, but they have, they kind of taste like you want to put them on a salad and like soften them up with like some form of dressing. Serenata is our next candy bar. It is milk chocolate coated wafer with cocoa cream filling. It's so much softer than I thought it was going to be. But I do like the um, creaminess of the chocolate. Like... It's actually pretty good. But did you know that wafers were actually invented in Greece? I love herb flavored chips, so I'm pretty excited to try these. They are oregano flavored. They definitely smell oregano, like they're definitely oregano flavored. Mmm, but they're actually very nice. And the saltiness of it like helps balance everything. Oh my gosh. The way potatoes became popular in Greece was not because uh, such and such person gave them away for free trying to introduce potatoes into Greece. It was when he hired armored guards to protect potatoes. <laughs> and then people thought they were valuable and they started getting stolen and lo and behold, potatoes in Greece. <laughs> Wow. Okay, next we have Mosto Coloro. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Soft wheat cookies with grape must flavor. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's ginger. Oh, it's a ginger cookie. It's very dry. It stuck to the roof of my mouth. So must is a thick mixture containing the freshly pressed juice, skin, seeds, and stems of the grape. 
usually prepared as the first step in the wine crafting process. Um, I'm a little confused. It's gotta be the must I'm smelling because I looked at the ingredients. There's not, there's no ginger in here. If it wasn't so thick and dry, I think I'd like it better because I, oh my gosh, it smell. All right, we have milk, <clears throat> milk chocolate coated hazelnut topped wafer with cream filling. Looks like it melted a little bit during shipment, but that's a-okay. I feel like it's too much. Like, if they would tone down on the hazelnut part of it a little bit, like the cream that was, like, in the middle, I think it would have been a lot better. Ooh, here we go. They are going to be bread crisps with cheese, tomato, and basil seasoning. They smell pretty good. As they are, they're pretty good. But I think this would be really great. Oh, my gosh, in, like, a tomato soup. That would be fantastic. <laughs> we got our chocolate. So this is a soft cookie with dark chocolate chunks. Dark chocolate. Hey, dark chocolate. Hey. Uh, talk about a soft cookie. Oh my gosh, this is like crumbling apart on me. Ah. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. <laughs> oh, just look at it. Ah. That's great. Dark chocolate cookies account nearly 75% of Greece's cookie market. Yes, that was good. Oh my gosh. I am I am sad that I only got one because mm -hmm, I'm going to need another. This is a peanut and honey bar. That's what it looks like. It looks pretty good. I got a piece. No, I did it. The honey's not as strong tasting as I would have liked. <laughs> you guys know I like my bread. It smells so good. Look at it. <laughs> okay, let me tear me off a piece. Oh, was there no cream in that one? Oh, all the cream. All the cream's in the middle. It's supposed to have a cocoa cream in it. I like it. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the best I've ever had as far as packaged breads have come. The bread by itself is not that great. If the um, chocolate cream was more evenly distributed throughout the loaf, I think it would have been a lot better. The next snack would have been the one that we didn't get, the um, honey cookies with almonds. So we're just going to move on over to our next item, which are these. They're cornflake bread rings. So this is what a full one looks like. And I have a little piece here. I'm gonna try. A little sweet. Like they're very like very sweet bread. Um, but they're not bad. Again, I feel like I kinda wanna kinda just dip them in something. Maybe like a really good gnocchi soup or something like that. Ooh, sounds like it'd be really good with it. I'm probably not gonna like this next one. It's a lemon pie. Cute! We It really was like a little pie. How adorable. I don't really wanna try it. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of lemon. Wow, okay, no, that's actually really good. I'm amazed right now. The lemon's just mild enough to be enjoyable. Like I'm not I'm really not a big fan of lemon. I don't like the tartness or the zinginess of it, but there's no real tartness to this. And it's more of like you just get the taste of the lemon. And I like that. They're crackers with, um, what'd they say? Feta cheese and oregano. Yeah, that's what they look like. They're pretty cute. <clears throat> I can't say I know what feta tastes like. And all I taste are salt and herbs. We've gotten this plenty of times with Universal Yums, just from different countries. And it's just a nugget bar, but this one's orange flavor. So this one is a little bit different. I don't think I like it. I usually like orange flavored things, but that's just not all that interesting to me. 
<laughs> I don't know why I think this is funny. I just think based off all the things we've tried so far, this is like the most basic thing they could have thrown in this box. They are sea salt chips. They're salty chips. I think it's coming straight from the salty water of the Mediterranean. All right, we got another croissant, yeah. This one has apricot filling, which I'm not sure if I've actually ever had apricot, to be honest. I didn't like the filling. All right, guys, we're almost done. Uh, we have three candies left and they are in our yum bag. They all look really interesting. So we have, um, the first one is a pomegranate jelly, and then we have Cocos Ozu, Ozo, Ozo flavored candy, that's new. And we have honey toffee. Let's start with the pomegranate. Tastes a lot of sugar and a lot of artificial flavors. I'm going to skip the Ozo since I've never had that one before, and we're going to skip on over to the honey toffee. Ooh, mmm, it smells like honey. I think I'd like it better if the toffee flavor wasn't there. I know if it was, rather than a chew, a honey hard candy. Okay, so let's try this one. This is Ozo. Okay, so Ozo is a drink, and it's derived from a strong grape brandy. Dang it, they lost me right at the end. I should have tried it first. Oh, they said it has a licorice flavor. Ugh. Why? Mmm. <laughs> At first, at first I was like, oh, this is actually, it's actually not that bad because the saltiness is not salted black licorice. It's just like got a licorice flavor. And at first I was like, hmm, not too bad, but the flavor is sort of going downhill. Like it's getting like odorous type taste in my mouth. Oh, oh I gotta get rid of it. So that was the end of the box. Um... There were some great things in here. There were some not so great things in here. And some things are kind of like right in the middle where they were good, but I've had better versions of it. So let's pick uh, uh, top two favorites, the weirdest and the worst. Okay, I picked um, my choices. We'll start with the weirdest. I had a hard time with the weirdest. It was between two different ones. I almost picked the breadsticks, but it would have been more based off of shape rather than taste. Um, Cause they, I mean, it's just a hard breadstick. Like it wasn't really weird. I ended up picking the grape must um, cookie only because the flavor profile was strange. They, they didn't say there was ginger in it, but I swear I smell and taste ginger. So that one's just the weird overall. That was my weird one. Uh, the worst one for me, I ended up just picking the licorice candy that we tried at the end. This one. I ended up picking that one because that's like the one snack here that I just could not see myself trying again, which, brings me to my favorite part and that's going to be my second favorite and my favorite my second favorite i ended up picking the oregano chips because these were fantastic i am i'm will devour those my first favorite my favorite no my first favorite my favorite was i dropped it <laughs> was the cookie <laughs> was the dark chocolate cookie that was super soft and delicious and I loved it. That's number one for me. And then that's it. <laughs> well, you guys, that is a wrap. Comment, like, and share. And let me know in the comments down below which of these choices were your favorites and all of that. And if you didn't get the box, you know, tell me what you think you would have liked and what you think you would have disliked. But that's all I have for you guys, so look forward to future videos. All my social media links are down below, so feel free to check those out. And bye!